Hello. Today we're working on the second activity of the Logical Operators chapter in Learn to Code 1. This activity is called Spiral of Knot. Up at the top it says we need to use the Knot operator to turn left when blocked. Use the Knot operator to turn left when blocked. We had a quick introduction last time to this new condition like there are a couple conditions we already have which evaluate to true or false and those conditions are is on gem or is on closed switch. Um, here's a new one called is blocked and is blocked is either is true if byte can't move forward. For example if he's blocked by a cliff or a rock or a wall or something like that is blocked will be true and byte cannot move forward. Is If is blocked is false uh, he can move forward. There's nothing impeding his way to moving forward. Okay. Um, we're supposed to use the logical not operator. And remember, that looks like an exclamation mark. Uh, another word you might hear for it is bang, the bang symbol. Um, so if you put that bang symbol in front of a, a Boolean variable like is blocked, uh, if it's true, if is blocked is true, not is blocked will be false or exclamation mark is blocked will be false okay and if is blocked is false if you put that exclamation mark in front of it the two things together will evaluate to true okay all right so in this puzzle here um, looks like there is only one switch we need to toggle um, i'm going to run this uh, puzzle again with no code well with just this for loop in it that does nothing to see uh, what happens when it sets up again Aha, okay that path is I think slightly different yeah um, let's run it again here okay yeah the path is changing slightly each time uh, sometimes it's the same, but sometimes it changes. And uh, let's count the number of tiles we need to go, though. One the number of tiles we'll need to move forward to get to that uh, switch at the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, and do it again here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so it looks like the path always has 13 tiles that we need to uh, traverse in order to get to the, to the uh, switch at the end, but um, the, the direction that it goes can change a little bit from run to run. This for loop in here, that makes sense. This for loop says for i in the range 1 to 13, we need to do something. So this 13, this range 1 to 13 is probably indicating the number of tiles we need to move. One other thing we should probably check are, are all the turns a certain direction. Okay, if you look at the turns here in this puzzle, the first one is a turn to the left. The second one is a turn to the left, and the other one, the last one, is a turn to the left. And uh, from all the runs we've seen so far of this, the different layout of the tiles, that remains the same. You're always turning to the left. So that's a pattern. Um, we can consider that a pattern. We don't know exactly when the path turns, but the fact that it always turns to the left when it does turn is useful to us. Okay? So... In here, we're supposed to use the not operator to solve the puzzle in here. And um, I think, you know, most of the time we want to be moving forward. And we want to be moving forward except when we're blocked. Okay? So maybe one thing we could try is we could say, you know, uh, if we're facing a tile, if we're not blocked, then we want to move forward. Um, but if we are blocked, we want to turn left. Okay, so uh, let's just translate that into code in here. And this will be every tile we'll look at because each time we move forward, we're going to want to check that tile to see if it, if that same condition holds, the, the condition being if we're not blocked. So if we wanted to ask if we are blocked, we would say if is blocked is true. Okay. But to say if we're not blocked, 
we're just going to put this bang symbol in front of it, the exclamation mark right in front of it. So if we're not blocked, then we want to move forward. But if we are blocked, so this is where we're going to use our else clause, else we are blocked, we want to turn to the left. Okay, so uh, we're going to keep uh, checking 13 different times. If we're not blocked, we move forward. Otherwise, we turn to the left. Okay, now that should hopefully put us at or near the switch at the end, and then at the end of all this, uh, hopefully we'll be at the switch and we can try to toggle the switch. So that's going to be after we move for uh, across the uh, puzzle 13 times. So let's just go ahead and give this a try. I think there's going to be a little problem here, but let's give it a try. Okay, here's our new layout of our switch. We are not blocked, so we move forward. We're not blocked, move forward, not blocked, move forward, not blocked, move forward, not blocked, move forward. We are blocked, we turn left. Not blocked, move forward, not blocked, move forward. Are blocked, turn left. Not blocked, move forward. Uh, and he tried to toggle the switch right there. Okay. Now, what happened there? Why isn't that? Is there, are there not 13 tiles? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. No, there are 13 tiles, okay? So what happened here, um, if you look carefully in here, while we have this for loop that goes from 1 to 13, we're not always moving forward onto a new tile. Some of our, a couple of our 13 iterations in the for loop were used up by turn lefts, okay? So they turned left, they never move forward, so they stay on the same square that time through the loop. Okay, so uh, maybe in here we want to also uh, have them turn left and move forward. Okay, turn left and move forward in there. That would be one solution because we always want to have them uh, keep going, uh, move, move ahead one in the, in the tile thing. So. Let's try this. Okay, so there's not blocked, not blocked, not blocked, move forward, not blocked, move forward, not blocked, move forward, not blocked, move forward, blocked, he turns left and moves forward, not blocked, move forward, blocked, he turn left and move forward, not blocked, move forward, blocked, turn left and move forward, and now toggle the switch. Hey, all right. Okay, good. So he solves the puzzle there. Um, I want to try one thing here. Uh, I'd like to try to do a little bonus activity each time if we can. Um, let's try to rewrite this. Let's try to rewrite this and see what would happen if we do it the opposite way, where instead of checking if he's not blocked, let's check if he is blocked, and what would we do in that case? I mean, I think we should be able to do it that way as well too, right? So let's delete this in here. So this time we want to check if is blocked is true. If is blocked is true, what do we want to do? Well, we want to turn left and move forward. Okay, turn left and move forward. If we're not blocked, we want to just move forward, right? We just want to move forward. Okay. So I think that should work. Let's make sure it works. And then I have um, another uh, quick change we could make to this, I think. Okay. If we're not blocked, if we are blocked, we turn left, but we're not blocked, so we just move forward. Here we're blocked, so we turn left, move forward. Here we're blocked again, we turn left, move forward. And one more time, we're blocked left, turn left and move forward, toggle the switch. Okay, that worked, that worked. Um, let's look at this code for a second here. So in this code, we ask if we're blocked, and then we move forward, but we also move forward if we're not blocked. OK, 
okay? So essentially, we're moving forward every time, right? We're moving forward every time. That means that really, this move forward, we should be able to put this into our for loop all by itself. So if I'm going to move, I can move, for, move this move forward command down here so that it's not part of the if statement, okay? And since it's happening every time, I, I, I don't need it to happen in here, and I don't need it to happen in here, and then this else is doing nothing in here, so we can just get rid of this else part, and now let's take a look and see if this is doing the same thing here. So inside the for loop we ask if we're blocked, we turn left and move forward, okay? Otherwise, if we're not blocked, we don't do what's in here and we just move forward. Okay, so this is a little simpler version of the same type of code in here. The key to getting this is to understanding that move forward happens every time and a turn left only happens when we're blocked. Okay, things that are not inside this if block right here are going to happen every time, like the move forward. Things that are in the if block are only going to happen when the condition is blocked is true. Okay, let's try that and just see if it runs. Okay, so he's moving forward every time because is blocked is not true. But now it is true, so he turns left and then moves forward. And again, it's going to be true here. Turns left, moves forward. Good. Turns left, move forward. Okay, nice. So a few different ways to do to do that, uh, solve that puzzle in here. So just to review the couple things we talked about today. First of all, this logical not operator in Swift, it looks like an exclamation mark, or you might hear it called a bang symbol. And if you put a bang or an exclamation mark in front of any logical value or logical variable, it turns it to the inverse of what it was. So if it was true, the value is now false. If it were false, the value is now true. And the other thing we picked up this time is a new uh, Boolean condition called is blocked. And is blocked is a condition that lets Byte know he can move forward if is blocked is false. Otherwise, if he's blocked, is blocked is true, he cannot move forward. Okay. That's it for this time. See you next time.